Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, fear is a big part of the mountains. I'm scared all the time. That man survived a nearly 2,000 foot drop from a Colorado 14er. And tonight, he's speaking exclusively to Denver 7 about the unthinkable. 23 year old Ryan Montoya was missing for days after that fall. This is near Pyramid Peak near Aspen over the weekend. Well, tonight he tells us what he was thinking, how he survived, and how it changed his life. And Denver 7's Mark Stewart is live at the University of Colorado Hospital right now where Montoya is. And Mark, this is just a remarkable story. Remarkable, and the good news is, is that he is expected to pull through just fine. For the moment, though, he is here at the hospital in the burn unit dealing with some pretty severe frostbite after being outside for all of those days. Really a miracle ending after a trip to the mountains turned menacing. My goggles were all fogged out, so I don't really remember much except some big drops and a lot of sliding and some impacts. Despite some frostbite on his fingers and an injured arm, Ryan Montoya is celebrating his survival. He was about to summit Pyramid Peak near the Maroon Bells when he suddenly slipped, a fall he estimates to be between 1,500 to 2,000 feet. I think I even started praying at one point. Just wasn't really sure what was going to happen. Um, I think at that point, more than any other time, I thought I was probably going to die. The intensity of his descent so strong, part of his helmet was ripped apart. Are you in your mind saying, I just want this to end, I want this to end? Yeah. Yeah, that was probably mostly what was going through my mind. I mean, I just, I couldn't believe I was still conscious through the whole thing. I mean, that's, every time I hit something, I'm like, I'm still going, you know, it's not over. Eventually, he was able to stop, situating himself on the slope. His phone broken, but his backpack full of food. For two days, he was stuck in the elements. So falling, I was feeling like I was going to die. And then after I landed, I was like, well, it's still a pretty good chance. Eventually, a biker found him. Ryan was then taken to Denver for treatment. He's healing his body and his soul. No surprise, you know, mountains don't care that you're there. You mess up, you take a big fall, and you pay the price. Ryan wants his family and friends to know he regrets some of the emotional stress the last 48 hours caused all of them. He also has a lot of appreciation toward the Mountain Rescue Squad. In fact, one day, he says, perhaps he would like to do some work for them. We are live in Aurora tonight. Mark Stewart, Denver 7.